my name is Muhammad Ahmad Yunus and today I will guide you how to assess your degree from Engineers Australia. First things first, you have to go to portal.engineersaustralia.org.au slash user slash login to open this Engineers Australia website. If you have your email or EA ID account details, you can just put in. Or if you are a new user, select this create a new account and then log in. As I already have the details, I'm logging in. Now you will see this page with various options like annual renewals, my EA apply for membership, national engineering register NER, state registration eligibility chartered. Scrolling down to apply for migration skills stage one assessment. So we are going for overseas migration skill assessment. We will click on this. Yes, click on I want to start a migration skill assessment that is for seeking assessment for migration purposes. Now you will see this page before you start. Please have your ID qualification or evidence documents ready. Just keep it with you. Then expand this your privacy and select on I agree. Tick the box and then select application declaration and tick on I agree. Going further to assessment pathway, there are various options. If your qualification is from Australia, you can select Australian qualification that is fully accredited by Australian Engineering Program or Engineers Australia. If your qualification is from Washington Accord, then you can select Washington Accord that will provide you a professional degree, professional certificate for assessment and similarly if your qualification is from Sydney Accord that will give you a technologist. Similarly, there is Dublin Accord that will give you associate and competency demonstration report CDR. Please keep in mind that you have to write three career episodes from your university project or from your job or workplace experience. If you have completed any project during your studies, you can select that and uh, if you have good projects or excellent projects demonstrated well in your work life or professional qualification, you can select that. As I have done my qualification from Washington Accord, I will select this one and then if you have to add additional assessment services for example skill, skill employment if you have 5 to 8 years of experience that is maximum experience required for Engineers Australia and if you, uh, you want to apply for your uh, PR that could be required for example 189 visa 191 or 190 it will be helpful to evaluate your maximum 8 years experience you can select this option as well 
and then continue application. Alright, so if you want to you can now you need to put your personal details like your passport style photograph upload it here then your passport attach the file here name change document if you have then just upload it here your CV that should be updated to the current time just upload it here expand this application details if you have your English language competency IELTS academic IELTS or journal IELTS both will do just upload it here if you have done academic PTE that can also be uploaded here just put your reference number of your certificate or IELTS or PTE and click on I am seeking exemption if you are from English speaking countries if not then you don't need to click this one then expand the qualification if you want to fast track this application normally it will take like two to three weeks and for normal applications it takes like four to five weeks but it will incur additional cost to it now the last option is submit application and pay as I already have paid my assessment fee I will demonstrate to you how it look like first I need to cancel this application yes Now this is my ID application type see and you can have your ID number here your ID number your application type your name and your status since um, my application is already granted to me I can view my details here So this is the application progress timeline. You started your application, then your application is submitted. You have to pay for your application. Normally it takes like for um, skill assessment around 830 Australian dollars. I haven't done CDR, so it may take up to um, 950. Australian dollars after that your assessment is uh, in progress will appear here now during this stage uh, the case officer may ask you for, for some documents like your text details um, for example you have worked in a company for four or five years you need to um, attach those documents to your application or um, uh, add your service slips as well your EOBI's uh, documents as well that is old age uh, super animation anything that uh, the visa officer may ask you you have to provide that then after four to five weeks you will get your application outcome and uh, mine is granted so this is uh, all the procedure for the application it is uh, an easy process it won't take long uh, if you have uh, fully 
uh, written your application well then you don't need to worry about it if you have any questions or queries please feel free to ask me this is the end of my video please do subscribe to my channel like and comment on my video thank you